at the moment 85% of lung cancer is diagnosed at a late stage. This means that outcomes are very poor. The general rule in any disease management is earlier is better. Earlier detection means that you have more treatment options and that the patients have better chances of survival. That's definitely a better outcome for everybody. Current healthcare is developing out of the traditional space of just a clinical test. We recognize now that it needs the assistance of artificial intelligence. Lung Life is seeking to make a huge impact to patient outcomes and to clinical decision making in the early detection of lung cancer. Most lung cancer cases are caught in late stage disease where there's not a lot of impact that can be had. At Lung Life we're trying to shift that where most can be diagnosed with early stage such that you can have intent to cure surgery. We're focused on a very particular aspect of lung cancer diagnostics in the screening setting where patients are diagnosed with indeterminate pulmonary nodules. Right now clinicians aren't really sure if those nodules are indeed cancer or if there's something else like scar tissue or an infection. With Lung Life AI, we can do a liquid biopsy where we can get the same exact information from the blood and thereby eliminating the need for an invasive biopsy. Our 4X fish assay is a diagnostic test designed to find lung cancer early stage. What we do is we'll take peripheral blood from our patients, we'll isolate certain cells from that blood, and then we'll conduct the fish test. It stands for fluorescence in situ hybridization. We'll scan them and then we'll have technicians analyze the cells and the results. Going through thousands and thousands of cells, it's very difficult and it's very rigorous. Working with Persistent allows me to really focus my time where I can bring better value to the company. Based on the results, we'll determine if a patient clinically has cancer or is actually a benign tumor in their lungs. Persistent's machine learning algorithm has helped us cut analysis time from an hour, an hour and a half down to about 30 minutes and it's all automated. Having the opportunity to work with persistent systems on developing a machine learning algorithm to help us with our studies and understand the biology behind this disease has really spearheaded this effort and it's really accelerated our work here. And then within 45 days in the first proof of concept work, we had something that was in some instances performing the same as the lab technician but also finding cells that were malignant that the lab technician had missed. Healthcare is designed not to move fast for very good reasons. You don't want fashion and fad in healthcare. AI is able to now bring a level of rigor. And what we're seeing now is a growing realization in healthcare that you can actually use these tools to be able to improve performance, increase clinicians' effectiveness, and to be able to tap into their higher level judgments to testing, which I think is really important and is valuable for everybody. Over 400 people die every day from lung cancer. Those are people's brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers. We believe at Lung Life AI we can have a positive impact on that equation by diagnosing cancer earlier.